light and peace in Jesus Christ. Thanks be to God. Let us say our prayer of thanksgiving. We praise and thank you, O God, for you are without beginning and without end. Through Christ, you created the whole world. Through Christ, you preserve it. You made the day for the works of light and the night for the refreshment of our minds and our bodies. Keep us now in Christ. Grant us a peaceful evening, a night free from sin, and bring us at last to eternal life. Through Christ and in the Holy Spirit, we offer you all glory, honor, and worship now and forever. Amen. Amen. Now for a reading from the second letter to the Corinthians from the Apostle Paul, chapter 1, verses 3 through 11. May the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ be blessed. He is the compassionate Father and God of all comfort. He's the one who comforts us in all our trouble so that we can comfort other people who are in every kind of trouble. We offer the same comforts that we ourselves received from God. That is because we received so much comfort through Christ in the same way that we share so many of Christ's sufferings. So if we have trouble, it is to bring you comfort and salvation. If we are comforted, it is to bring you comfort from, our, from the experience of endurance while you go through the same suffering that we also suffer. Our hope for you is certain, because we know that as you are partners in suffering, so also you are partners in comfort. Brothers and sisters, we don't want you to be unaware of the trouble that we went through in Asia. We were weighed down with a load of suffering that was so far beyond our strength that we were afraid we might not survive. It certainly seemed to us as if we had gotten the death penalty. This was so that we would have confidence in God who raises the dead instead of ourselves. God rescued us from a terrible death, and he will rescue us. We have set our hope on him that he will rescue us again. Since you are helping with your prayer for us. Then many people can thank God on our behalf for the gift that was given to us through the prayers of many people. This is the word of God for us, the people of God. Thanks be to God. Let us silently meditate on the scripture reading.
And now for our prayer today, we will recite the prayer that St. Francis gave before the crucifix. Most High, Glorious God, enlighten the darkness of my heart and give me true faith, certain hope, and perfect charity. Sense and knowledge, Lord, that I may carry out your holy and true command. And now join us in the prayer that Jesus taught us, in saying, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever. Amen. The grace of Jesus Christ enfold you this night. Go in peace. Thanks be to God.